What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be just taking a quick look at the J-League MVPs. So this is probably one of the weirdest selections that I have seen in a while. Obviously, they want to bring out different types of players and, you know, they have different fan bases. A lot of these cards aren't going to interest the likes of, you know, me or maybe a lot of you guys that are watching that are used to watching the Premier League or La Liga or Bundesliga or even international football, right? But I do like that they are adding different things. Now, this guy straight off the rip goes to a 92 overall. We're going to have a look on eFootballDB. Remember that these guys get boosters as well. So that is kind of the only saving grace with these guys. They have a booster of plus two to their stats. Just these four guys. And this guy actually has momentum dribbling as well. So I do feel like that this guy could be extremely good. But we're going to kind of ignore the booster for the time being. That's just really a bonus. Because I just think these cards, man, and their ratings are... They're just, they're just strange. Like, we'll get into it in a second. But... This guy's not a bad player, he's got some fairly okay player skills, super sub, true passing, one touch pass, and of course that momentum dribbling, and he can play in that H position style that I like to see, attack in midfield, and then all the way down the left or the right, 77 overall as a whole player. Now, we will get into his build in a second, right? But these are part of this pack here, which you see, which is going to be a selection of 100 players, and you've got these random players in here as well. Well, not random, they're just kind of a selection of these um, and different versions of them. We're not going to really focus too much on them. There is one or two, I would say, hidden gems in here. Um, but to be honest with you, I don't know, should you be at this stage using coins to sign players like this? I mean, if you get these for free, or if we were getting these as login bonuses with a few free spins... Yeah, I mean, you could go for it. I mean, this guy isn't too bad. He's got high levels, 40 levels. This guy, as well as a right midfielder, has got 42 levels, which means that you pop 12 into his speed, acceleration. You're pretty much going to have, you know, 90 acceleration, 90 speed. And, of course, the ball control and tight possession is going to be upgraded quite a bit as well, right? But there's just so many players now in the database and so many players available for standard GP. Even if you're playing the game for maybe 10 days, you will probably have better players than these. Pound for pound and stat for stat. It's not all about stats, of course, right? But as I said, we are going to focus on these Showtime players, right? So first off, just to get it out early doors, we're going to focus on a Tommy, right? This guy has got no player skills, not a thing. They couldn't even give him low punt. I don't know why, but they should have, right? And he's also got a boost to his awareness, catching, parrying, and reflexes, right? But he's quite short for a goalkeeper. And when we actually do take a look at his build, which is here, um, we're just going to take a quick look here. 11, 12, and 12 with one into aerial strength for this guy is going to get you an 80, 78, 86, 88, and 82 goalkeeper. Now, that's before the plus two booster. So you are actually going to get reflexes at 90, goalkeeper clearing at 88, and uh, so on and so forth. But I just think that this card is kind of pointless, to be honest with you, lads, with no disrespect meant. I just feel like there's so many standard GP goalkeepers that are even better than this guy. He's got no player skills, doesn't have a long throw, low punt, and he's quite short. I mean, I just don't see the point in it, to be honest, right? We also have this attacking midfielder. Now, this guy is interesting for a couple of reasons, right? He's got 50 levels, which is pretty decent, let's be honest, right? 50 levels is huge, and that 92 kicking power is going to be kind of Adriano-esque, right? With the booster, that's going to go to 94. So that kind of changes how we're actually going to train this guy up a little bit, because his kicking power is going to go max um, no matter what you do, right? And we're going to show you that in a second. Uh, it's going to be pretty much maxed uh, very, very easily with that boost. And that's not even taken into the manager boost or that into consideration, right? Now, what do you need with your attack and midfielder? Depending on where you want to play him as a creative playmaker, I would definitely want one touch pass on him, which he has. I'd also want low lofted, which he doesn't have. Outside curler, he doesn't have, even though he's got really high finishing and ball control is quite decent as well. It's just a weird card, man. Like, look when you max out his stats, right? You're going to have 90 finishing, 87 ball control. Obviously, we're going to be getting the boost to that as well. 99 kicking power with the booster. And we popped 6 into shooting, 10 into passing, 15 into dribbling, 13 into dexterity, and 5 into lower body. And then the rest, we've just, you know, we, we can actually just pop one more into shooting or lower body there. It doesn't really make a difference to max out uh, his kicking power even more. But to be honest, I just don't see, you know, this this card is 79 low pass and 71 lofted pass, right? He does have one touch pass, but he doesn't have low lofted. It's just a strange card, a strange kind of selection of uh, skills slash um, stats. You know, that speed, stamina, balance, all quite low, even though he's a sharp player. Type of possession is quite decent. His finishing is extraordinary. Um, he can play as an attacking midfielder, so I do think that's probably going to be his best position. But again, a bit of a strange weird weird card right now we also have this guy uno 
right? Z Uno, and his booster is going to go to Kick and Power Physical Content. It's the same one, Shooting plus two. It's the same one here. He's actually got some really unique player skills, and this is probably the pick of him. You've got Knuckle Shot, Rising Shot, Long Range Shooting, Acrobatic Finishing, and First Time Shot. You also have Low Lofted, Weighted, um, but no one touch pass, but you have interception and blocker. So I would definitely be training this guy's defense up uh, first and foremost. That's kind of where I would go with him. He's not going to be the quickest getting around the pitch. Um, he's not going to be, excuse me, he's not going to be the best on the ball. He's going to be kind of like a destroyer-esque type player, um, which kind of suits me okay. Like this is kind of the build I'd go with him with the, with the, with the, uh, booster effect as well but this is the build that i go with him for his stats and for his size and for everything else 10 into dribbling and passing 13 into defending 7 into dexterity and lower body and 2 into aerial strength it's a pretty decent card but it's only going to get you speed and acceleration not even in the 80s it's an okay card the defense kind of makes up for it and the, the fact that he has got blockers straight off the rip is quite nice but again another strange selection i mean i just don't see any of these cards making a big difference to anybody's uh, squad now this guy's name lads is tawarat samida is that how you pronounce it tawarat tawarat samida k tawarat samida his booster is going to be the same ball carrying there one touch pass he's got momentum dribbling we've already covered him right he would probably be my pick of it with the build here right he would probably be the pick of it Simply, simply because he's got so much pace and the dribbling is in the 96 zone, right? This guy is definitely the one to go for, right? I don't, I don't feel like that, you know, as a super sub and fighting spirit, you know, you've got maxed out speed, you've got max or acceleration and balance, you've got nearly maxed out dribbling. It is a really, really nice card, but you can't pass, even though he's got one touch passing and true passing. Again, it's just a bit of a strange card, right? So let me know if you guys are going to spin for these, right? Obviously, you've got a selection of few in here as well. If you do end up spinning, you can clear this box. Listen, if you're looking to get... I just feel like if you're getting a player in here, he should be like a 95 rated player to be able to compete with the meta guys, right? This guy is probably the only one I would say is worth spinning for. I know for a fact he's going to be an absolute demon on the wings. He will just be an absolute nightmare to face, right? Kind of like Ribery-esque. Probably as close to Ribery as you're going to get now in the game. If you've missed out on Cavara or Vinny Jr. or any of those, right? But let me know what you guys think, lads. I don't know, man. I, I'm kind of torn on... I'm growing a little bit disillusioned with the, with the players and the packs now. Because I have got such a stacked team that unless I'm going to be spinning specifically for a player such as Collar or such as, you know, maybe uh, Puyol next week or in the week later, you know, or they bring a new hype legend like Henri or Zidane or somebody like that or Rooney or Roy Keane, I just feel like at the moment it's just... Yeah, these players will be nice, but there's no real attraction for me to actually spin from. Of course, these these this guy would be a beast with his player skills. But let me know what you guys think. I will end it there. Don't forget to check out our live streams. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, peace.